Hey, shalom, man. Shalom, when the stuff souls by giving no praise to you, how about Shem Yao? Shalom, by Shem Makak with Dash. The Blown and Stay Puzzles with JMS and all these two brothers doing the work in truth. What a sincerity. So, it's a quick one. I'm going to start with um, Acts 1 and 10. It says, And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Right? You know, and you know, I was just outside out my garden, you know, doing exactly that. You know, and made me think of the scripture because, you know, and this, uh, you know, we we see the chariots here and there. You know, we'll see them even like, oh man, you know, and you know, the longer you are, you know, you are in the truth, right? You know, the the more, you know, it's just oh look, there's a chariot, and you just keep it moving, right? You know, but it was just um. And I said, I was, cause, you know, when people see us do that at the camp, you know, you might have a flurry of chariots, you know, like, oh, well, you know, what are you seeing, what are you seeing? You know, it's just something that, you know, I was, I was meditating on while I was out there, right? But, you know, we can go into this. So this is basically, you know, when a handful of the apostles were seeing your house, shy getting taken up into a, into a cloud, right, into a chariot, right? And then, you know, you had, you had the two men, Stood by them in white apparel I said yo You know Why stand you into uh, uh, Gazing up into heaven Right This same Yahweh Shai You know Which is taken up from you Into heaven Shall come Shall so come in like manner As you have seen him Go into heaven Right Basically Prophesying You know And saying Look man Basically saying What it is that the Lord uh, How it is that the Lord Is uh, gonna come back Right So hey When Esau comes And what you call it comes with this trickery or whatever what have you right you know because one of the projects that Esau has out there is you know project blue boom you know that's one of the technologies he's said to have right and, you know he might uh what you call it try to say yo you know hey look this is the lord this is really the lord right it says uh isaiah 33 and 6 says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation the fear of yahweh is his treasure Right, so wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of, of, of our times. Right, so when Esau was pulling all of these, you know, trickeries out there, what you call it, uh, trying to, uh, you know, he, he, I said, I can't say for certain if Esau's got Project Bluebeam, but there is something that he's touted to have. You know, people say he has this ability to project, uh, you know, uh, images into the sky and make it look realistic, right? You know, but this is why you gotta beware of this devil and not fall for any of his um I was call it, any of his trickery. In fact, let me let me look at see if this scripture's on point. And if I can spell I don't know how you spell that word, I'll forget. No, this is uh Matthew twenty four twenty four says for there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall do great signs and wonders in so much if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect right which is why you got to be grounded especially if you you know you're a new man coming into the faith you're coming into truth right you know you're supposed to just you know watch the apostles you know and you know the men of 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 Rena you know that the Oh how I forgot the, the word in the apostles use, but um, but basically men that you know are of good standing. That's the word, you know, men of good standing. You know, watch, you know, read the scriptures, right? The breakdowns, you know, and basically not strain too far this that and the other. Because if you ain't grounded, right, you have these things that will come across and they'll they'll move you out of the way, right? Which is why one of the things you can't be doing when you come into this truth. Is basically just reading into too many things and say just stick to the scriptures, right? This is uh, Ecclesiastes twelve and twelve says, and further by these my son be admonished of making many books. There is no end, and much study is weariness of the flesh of the flesh, right? And they, at, at the camp you see man that will come that will come up, and then you can tell in the way they speak the things that they they speak on that they've just. You know, they read too many books. They read this book, they read that book. They went into this topic, right? But they never got grounded into anything. The scriptures talk about, you know, um, I'm fine, let me get there. Uh, I've forgotten how it's phrased. Right, 
this is Matthew 7 13 and to ye in at the straight gate right straight and narrow obstacles standing close about straight narrow straight right let's look into the base of that and stand using various applications abide the point and bring to cause abide yeah man but basically a narrow gate the straight gate is a narrow gate you know uh, if you ha if you're in straights I'm not mistaken, it's like a, a, a would you call it a difficulty or a bad difficult situation, you know, when you say I'm in straits. Right, it says for wide is the gate, right, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go thereat. Right? So basically, yeah, you got all of you got, it says the wide is the gate, you know, you got all of these different philosophies that you can go into. Like for instance, you get a lot of people who will um, who you call it, who end up being Muslims because they can tell that Christianity is off, right? But then instead of coming and ending up at the scriptures, ending up at the true doctrine, right? They end up in Islam, right, and so on and so forth, right? So we, we you know, we, we go back here. It says um, the same how shot back in Acts one eleven. It says, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The same Yahweh shall, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Right, so, hey, you, the way the, you know, the Lord left is the same way he's coming back. Yeah, so, you know, I said all of that, went to all of that, to basically say, when when you see Esau pulling out his technologies, if it, if he ain't a so-called black man, pursuant to Revelations 1, you know, that ain't the Lord. Right, if he's coming to say love everybody, that ain't the Lord. Right, if he's coming to say, uh, what do you call it? If he ain't coming in a chariot of Israel, that ain't the Lord. Right, which is why he says, uh, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time. You you be seeing things and other people be getting bugged out. Right, you know, let's say Esau does, you know, use his project Bluebeam to try and fake the coming of the Lord. You know, the man of the Lord will be privy to that black man, this damn devil, and keep it moving. Like I said, you know, I can't say for sure whether he has it, but that is one of the things that it, you know, people say that he has. Right, and I wouldn't put it past him. The scriptures say that thou art wiser than Daniel. This is wisdom 5 It says uh, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness Before the face of such as have afflicted him And made no account of our labours And that's what we do We can recount uh, Through the power of Yah Bashim Yah Shai You know when we you know, when we're at the camp When we do these videos Right It says verse 2 it says when they see it Right The salvation it says they shall be troubled with terrible fear And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. Now like they're gonna be the ones looking up and oh man, yo why them why them niggas getting beamed up? Hey, why would, oh shit, hey but you know, hey Hollywood said those are just green men, green men and this, that and the other. Right? But hey that's not what the scriptures say. Right? It says they shall be troubled with terrible fear, man. Right, because hey, once the salvation is done, them chariots are going to be used for destruction. Right, pursuing Second Ezra's uh, the thirteenth chapter, right, Isaiah sixty six fifteen. Right, it says we for uh, verse three it says and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom he had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. Right, so they're gonna be stand. They're gonna be the ones standing up, gazing and being like, "Yo, shit, but he's just fucking niggas, man. He's a fucking niggas, fucking spicks, whatever, what have you, right? You know." Then, then it goes on to say, "We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor." Right? Hey, could you read um, what is it? First Corinthians two, if I'm not mistaken. Is it two or is it one? Might be one. Right, it says uh first Corinthians one twenty seven says, But the most high hath chosen the foolish things of the world uh to to confound the wise. Right, and right now we're the foolish man, we're the base, right? 
you know no no one to, in the, you know to be completely honest rates rates the children of Israel right it says uh, but the most high hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and the most high hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things that are mighty right because we go you know you have your renowned scientists you know your 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 Brian Cox your you know Stephen Hawking's you know you know all of them guys before them and we're straight up telling them you're wrong right and you're wrong because of X Y Z right it says um, and the most I have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and the base things of the world and the things which are despised and tell me a nigga ain't despised right tell me a spick ain't despised right hath the most I have chosen yea and things which are not to bring to to know things that are right so yeah just going into the hey, the, 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 the lord's all about that you know that contro controversy he's all about a, a nice storyline be like oh yeah you know they thought these guys were just so many niggas but really they were my chosen haha -ha. show you the lord has a sense of humor because like, hey how look how these nations have dealt with israel Right, we see the peons of these nations, the you know the 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 the, 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 the fools of these nations, which is the majority, but you know I'm saying basically not the elite, right? The non-elite of these nations, they treat Jay like shit. Right? But they, but they they're gonna have to pay for that. Well, this is First Thessalonians four sixteen says, "For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout." Agreeing with what we read here in first in Acts uh, one and eleven, right? It says, but the for the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in uh, in Mashiach shall rise first, right? So, hey, all the men that die in the what you call it in the faith, they gonna rise up. They're gonna be high. right? It says, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Right, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with with the Lord. Right, so basically, salvation is going to come through the chariots of Israel. Right, we're going to be beamed up, and we're going, you know, we're going to be high. Right, and the Lord's arm of the elect, Lord, you, all you bubbles watching are of the elect. Right, and if he a puzzle going into it, and the whole thing of faith, right. Hey, if you don't think you can be of the, if you don't think you're of the elect, what the hell are you doing, man? Right? Just uh, was it study to make that uh, show that so? Or was it? I call in the election show. It's like my, my, my brain ain't really on it right now. Right, hey, that's it. So computers one and ten says wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Right, for if you do these things you shall never fall. Right, so if you don't think you're the elect, you gotta you gotta give your diligence, man. You gotta do what it is you gotta do. Right, so that you can you know, sincerely pray to the Lord that you are of the elect. Right. I'll just go through these last um precepts, right? It says uh Isaiah 26 and 20 says Come my people enter thou into thy chambers And shut thy doors about thee Hide thyself as it were for a little moment Until the indignation be overpassed right? And those chambers be, be uh, What you call it be the chariots Right And in, in indignation That's that uh, you know the, the, the destruction Right sort of like how you know You, you might you, you know if you imagine you go You hear something's happening Outside, so you go, you lock yourself in the chambers, and you basically, you literally do that. You you you, you stay there until you don't hear any, um, any anything bad happening outside, and then you like you you maybe peek up, be like yo, everything's cool. When you uh, read the scriptures, it even says that um, let's see, mingle fire. Let's see, let's mingle. Go. Right, this is Revelation 15 and 2 says, And I saw as it were a sea of glass, right? And then I'd gotten the victory over the beast and over his image, 
and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the hearts of the most high when it's talking about in the firmament right so you, those that make it are going to be literally in chariots above the firmament watching as the world gets destroyed right up until the indignation be overpassed right and hey, this is this is when Israel came out of Egypt the last time right it says it's Exodus thirteen twenty one says and Yahweh went before them by day in the pillar of a cloud to lead them the way and by night in the pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night right, so that's once again a uh, what you call it a uh, a chariot of Israel right this is Jeremiah sixteen and fourteen it says Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that it shall no more be said, Yahweh liveth, that brought up the children of Israel of the land of Egypt, but Yahweh liveth, that brought up the children of Israel of the land of the north. So if you had the chariots then, in the, what do you call it, in the uh, deliverance from Israel, from Egypt, right, ancient Egypt, you know, the chariots makes, makes it's, you know, it's more of a, makes sense that you have the chariots come once again on this time around. You know, to be for the deliverance out of the, what you call it, out of the land of Egypt. The new land of Egypt, which is America pursuing to Revelation 11 and 8. Right? It says, um, And from all the lands where he had driven them, and I'll bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Right? So this destruction is going to be worse than any, you know, uh, uh, Joel, the second chapter, I believe, and Daniel 12. Speaks on, <clears throat> speaks on the fact that uh, what is it? The, the destruction to come is going to be like never before man was on earth. Daniel twelve and one, right? That's going to be the worst destruction ever. So hey, if the, the, you think the Lord is going to what you call it hide these chariots? No, the chariots are going to come up, and the whole world is going to see, right? In fact, I, I thought I had it lined up. Right, Revelation 1 and 7 It says Behold he cometh with clouds And every eye shall see him Right Once again the green red Acts 1 and 10 <clears throat> Sorry 1 and 11 It says Behold he cometh with clouds And every eye shall see him And they also which pierced him And all kindreds of the earth Shall well because of him Even so a man right, So Yahweh Shah is coming with them Chariots man Right And with those chariots is common salvation and destruction, uh, which is why, you know, all kindreds of the earth shall well. You know, if, if these things are, you know, if the Lord's coming to bring death, it does why is the world wailing? All right, but like I said, that, that, you know, that, that was inspired from, you know, just my stroll in the garden. Um, so, yeah, Lord's word, I was there to find. And till the next time, say, Shalom.